Howdy, everybody. So, Life Lesson Friday for February 23rd, 2024, uh, as my dogs start talking to themselves, um, is to strive to learn something about yourself. And this happened to me Sunday. Uh, I learned something about myself. And I know that I was taught very early in my athletic career that you don't drop out of a race um, unless it's an extreme situation. And I've only dropped out of one race that I can ever remember. Um, and it was a, a race where I stepped on the inside railing of the track and rolled my ankle and just really just couldn't, couldn't continue. And so I knew going into the race I did this past Sunday as I was doing my warm up and going through all my drills and, and like my pre-race stuff. And I could feel my ankle going like, this is not good. My, my calf was okay. My Achilles was tight and my ankle was speaking to me. And so I looked at my wife and I said, I don't think I can do this. And, and honestly, I didn't want to do it. I didn't want to start because I knew if I started, I had to finish. I knew if I started, I had to finish. And I learned that I'm stronger than I thought I was because at the moment that they were lining us all up, I was like, I, I don't think I can do this. I don't, I mean, that's the thing I was telling myself, not let's go, not let's, let's charge after this. Let's, you know, block the pain out. Any of those things that I often tell my athletes. What was actually going through my head was, I don't think I can do this. And my wife looked straight at me and said, absolutely, you are going to run this race. And so, to me, I learned something about myself because I learned I'm stronger than I thought I was. And I knew I was strong. And I knew I was able to overcome pain and difficulty. And I have a very high threshold for pain. And I've overcome a ton from an athletic standpoint especially in the past seven, eight years. And it just goes to show that you can always learn something about yourself. And so putting yourself in positions to grow, to push yourself, to go to places that maybe people think like, hey, you, you're not capable of doing that. Um, maybe people think, Eh, if I were you, I wouldn't do that right now. And obviously not talking about like illegal things or, or super dangerous things, but things that you're pushing yourself. Push yourself because you're going to be surprised that if you really want it, you're going to be able to achieve it. And I didn't hit the time goal that I was going for, of course, because of the injury. But I did complete it, and I did win, and so those were two of the goals. I came out healthy for the most part. I didn't make it worse, um, and so, you know, it was a successful race, and it was one that I honestly would not have run had my wife not been there, because if I'd have been there by myself, I would have said, you know what, it's smarter to just not attempt this and not push myself. Um, but she knew where I was. She knew that I had done all the work that was necessary. She knew that I'd prepared myself properly. And so it's, it's important to have those people on your team, but it's also important to strive to change and strive to see what you can do and learn something about yourself every day, every day. It's important to do that every day. Because we're constantly, the, the world's changing every single second. The world changes. And so we have to constantly be in a mindset of let's adapt, let's change, let's push ourselves, let's grow. Because uh, if we're not doing all those things, we're getting left behind, we're becoming stagnant. And quite frankly, that's where people start getting depressed about the situations that they're in. Because... And I'm not talking about super heavy-duty clinical depression or any of that kind of things, but just the daily depressions that we all experience from time to time. A lot of them, a lot of the time, that's because we simply don't want to push ourselves 
to grow with what's going on in the world. So strive to learn something about yourself every day.